And thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm Sean Householder for UpperMichiganSource.com. Just a quick glance at your day planner. Blustery out there. Single digit daytime highs will be a theme. Limited lake effect snow, but a fair amount of sunshine too. As uh, this high pressure ridge builds in and out of Canada, starting to see that colder air moving in. These spots over the far eastern UP at the 8 o'clock hour finally beginning to feel that front. We've been hanging through the teens but are now falling back. And we're going to struggle with those temperatures through today. But this quick shot of cold air should be short-lived. That's one thing you can take away from this. Those gusty winds this morning have been peaking around 30 miles an hour. That's maybe resulting in some blowing snow here and there. Uh, that could be what we're seeing here. Our tower radar tower usually struggles to see that activity. You can also see that high pressure has been ushering some drier air in. So skies have been clearing out through the early morning hours, but this is also more or less a permanent fixture over the next 10 or 12 hours or so from Unising eastward over towards Grand Marais. This uh, lake effect snow band is uh, essentially st stable with that west and northwest wind. So though this activity is fairly isolated, if you're under this band running along M28 there, you're going to encounter uh, perhaps some briefly uh, reduced visibility, some blowing snow here and there. And of course, I think over the next 10 or 12 hours, we can expect maybe an inch to three inches of snow. Spanning way out there, and you can see all this deeper moisture along that uh, initial cold front as it spreads in. Some limited flooding concerns through the Ohio River Valley and rain changing the snow there. For us, we're talking about this cold air settling in. Let's check on these temperatures up into the Canadian prairies. 13 below in uh, Winnipeg. It's 22 below in Regina, and they have been seeing steadily falling temperatures over the past couple hours and that cold air kind of skirting the Great Lakes region. Here's this high that does provide a, a stable forecast, but it's obviously a cold one in those north to northwest winds, adding a bit of a bite to the air. Those lake effect snow showers over mainly Alger County will be stubborn, even lingering into your early Thursday morning. Tonight as this high kind of skirts the uh, the uh, south and western UP, uh, will be under that influence. So skies generally clear, those winds die down. It'll be a cold overnight, a cold start to the day. Thursday, and then we see temperatures rebounding to near normal, in fact, over the weekend. So today, here's what we're expecting. Single digit daytime highs. The best sunshine is going to be inland, south and central, away from the big lake. Along the shore, you still got those west to northwest winds howling 20, 30 miles an hour. It wouldn't surprise me at all. And with those winds, any open water at all. Of course, Lake Superior about 94% frozen over with that Arctic air. Any open leads at all lead to those thin bands of lake effect snow, which we just showed you. An evening snow flurry overnight along the immediate superior shoreline should be out of here fairly quickly. And it'll be another cold one tonight and through the teens to around 20 below. Your six day forecast temperatures do rebound and through the 20s to around 30 Saturday it should be nice for you. And then we see a few disturbances here and there. Nothing too crazy, just an inch or so here and there into next week. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.